These are a series of broad silhouettes. We have four of them located in the downtown area. This one in particular is one of my favorites because this is a snapshot in time. This shows Abraham Lincoln being carried by members of the 1860 State Convention, the Illinois State Republican Convention. This is the actual site where Abraham Lincoln was carried and brought forward. The interesting thing about this is, is that what we have tried to do in the city of Decatur is allow for these moments in time to be captured. Since we don't have uh, structures like buildings anymore, what we have tried to do is recreate the event through these wonderful bronze uh, silhouettes that were done by a noted uh, Lincoln sculptor and our own citizen John McClary. And what I would like people to remember is, is that these are meant for people to come and go ahead and touch. So if you have kids that would like to carry Abraham Lincoln in, we would like you to encourage them. The interesting thing about this is, is that literally, literally within 149 years ago on this date, this is the event that occurred. Abraham Lincoln had come to the convention because the Democrats were having the state convention here in Decatur, and he was on the outside. This is almost the exact spot that he was located at when Richard Oglesby, our own Richard Oglesby in Decatur, brought forward that a distinguished citizen of the state of Illinois is among us, and he named out Abraham Lincoln. And what happened was the convention was so tightly packed together with delegates that instead of trying to create an avenue for him to go to the front of the dais and the speaker's dais, they literally said forget it. They picked him up and put him hand over head all the way down to the other end of the block. When Abraham Lincoln got to the other end, as the newspaper reporter said, he was visibly uh, happy to be able to be back on the ground. So this is what we are doing, and we appreciate you coming and, and being a part of our history. Believe it or not, Decatur is the longest serving city in the state of Illinois in association with Abraham Lincoln while he was alive. He came here first in 1830 uh, at the behest of a uh, family member, John Hanks, and he and his father, stepmother and stepbrother, uh, along with uh, many other members of the family, came to Decatur and settled for that first year. He had the long, as I said, he had the longest tenure of any city of, of the state of Illinois was Decatur, because as he passed through on his way to the inaugural in 1861, he stopped here in Decatur and gave a short speech. In order to understand the man, in order to understand his times, I think nothing does better than to be able to walk the same streets, to be able to stand on the same locations that Abraham Lincoln was uh, associated with in terms of important events in his life. This structure right here is, is called the Rail Splitter Candidate. This actually is very interesting because it is not of Abraham Lincoln per se. It is of his second cousin, John Hanks. And as previously mentioned, John Hanks, along with Richard Oglesby, was the gentleman who brought about the idea of the rail splitter candidate. On the first day of the state convention, uh, what happened was that the convention delegates were getting ready to sit down when Richard Oglesby said that he had an old Democrat who would like to contribute something to the convention. John Hanks comes in with two rails that were split by, supposedly split by Abraham Lincoln when he was out at the homestead in 1830. And uh, it was being carried in by John Hanks, and they had some banners. We've taken a little poetic license with this one. But they were carried in, and the place just erupts. And so became the idea of Abraham Lincoln, the rail splitter candidate. Even though we have four bronze silhouettes downtown uh, commemorating the location of the 1860 Illinois State Republican Convention that nominated Lincoln for the presidency, we will have 15 of these beautiful Looking for Lincoln uh, wayside exhibit signs located throughout the city. They not only talk about the 1860 convention, but they also talk about many other important events that occurred for Abraham Lincoln while he was here in Decatur. For example, the uh, 1856 convention that allowed the precursor of the Illinois State Republican Party to be formed. Abraham Lincoln was the only politician invited to that. 
Uh, we also have a location for the GAR, the Grand Army of the Republic, which became one of the most important political and uh, social organizations in the 19th century, located here first in Decatur, Illinois. So don't don't think that just four uh, Ron silhouettes are going to be the only thing that we have showing off the Lincoln legacy. We have many, many more things, and, and there'll be walking tours. And, and don't forget, on June the 6th, we have our second annual Shadows of Lincoln Festival occurring right here, downtown Decatur, Illinois. Decatur's changed a few times since I've been through here. It truly have. The train station still looks somewhat the same, <laughs> but... Uh, Nothing else does. Can I, can I ask, have you uh, had a chance to go back and visit the Oglesby Mansion, uh, the one, the place where you gave a speech to the GAR, sir? Well, as you know, my experience with Colonel, well, pardon me, General Oglesby, um, stretches back to Shiloh mm -hmm. uh, when he was his Colonel of the Regiment. And um, I've known him since then. Uh, he had a very famous encounter with uh, General Sherman, as you may recall. Yes. <laughs> It was a shame that he arrived in Washington on April 14th. Um, Truly was. Right. I feel I feel bad that uh, President Lincoln, of all people, uh, I was not able to attend that night, and the governor was not able to attend. Um, but he was accompanied um, to the house where President Lincoln expired, and I think that's a credit. That that right there is more credit, and I think that. Um, that's not known, that he should have, yeah. that he was present, and that his connection with Decatur is still alive today.